CERN is the home of the world's largest collider, and they are in a quest to solve the puzzles of the universe that surrounds our world. The latest discovery from the renowned High Energy Physics Laboratory at CERN has made headlines. Their Large Hadron Collider has produced something quite extraordinary that has the potential to change our understanding of the universe. This study's conclusions suggest that the very concerning results might point to the possibility of life on other planets. However, what exactly is this new finding, and how incredible is it? Join us as we delve into what CERN scientists uncovered. In a recent experiment with the Large Hadron Collider, CERN scientists noticed something strange with a particular kind of quark. Quarks are the important building blocks of all matter and are classified into flavors by physicists. A few of these so-called quark flavors quickly decayed and were incredibly unstable. The subject of this abnormality was the beauty quark, which has a normal lifespan. Corresponding to 1.5 trillionths of a second, the decay behavior of the quark was very different from the predictions made by physicists using the standard model. Their predictions state that a beautiful quark should decay into a set of lighter particles known as leptons, either an electron or a muon, with a 50 50 chance for each particle, according to the standard model. The weak force should govern the decay. However, the data obtained from the Large Hadron Collider revealed a very different picture. These quarks decay into muons just 70% of the time, compared to electrons. This was particularly noteworthy because electrons and muons are carbon copies of one another. The only difference is that the muon is 200 times heavier. However, the rate of transformation shouldn't be impacted. Since the beauty quarks decay through the weak force, all the forces in the standard model should pull on these two particles equally, and both should change the same number of times. This anomaly can only occur if a previously unknown sort of particle is involved in the process. It has led some scientists to propose that an unusual type of physics might be at work. New physics resulting from the discovery of a force-carrying particle could extend the current standard model and answer several open puzzles. Since there are currently few methods available for searching for particles, the standard model theory serves as the best guide to the behavior of the strange world of particles. An exact scientific framework known as the Standard Model explains all that we know about the important elements of the physical universe. Surprisingly, physicists are well aware that this model still needs to be finished and that many more parts need to be added to the reality puzzle, even with this reasonably high level of accuracy. The electromagnetic, strong, and weak forces are the only three important forces the Standard Model can adequately describe. Currently, there is no description of gravity's power or an explanation for the universe's most powerful kind of matter, dark matter. In the course of recent tests, scientists discovered an abnormality in the data they were examining that did not fit the known parameters of the standard model. This time, however, something has attracted the attention of experts, and they understood that they needed to take a deeper look to differentiate this new occurrence. Even though it is normally common to uncover results outside of this model with the large volume of data that the LHC puts out, the researchers speculated about the possibility of a brand new force carrying particle, Z prime, which they named a new basic particle to explain this extraordinary discovery. The researchers also found that this force would interact differently with muons and electrons, even though it is most likely very weak, given the lack of evidence for it thus far. However, the extent to which this force interacts with the standard model particles is still unknown. If new force-carrying particles were discovered, this would be the breakthrough physics has been waiting decades for. If this discovery is proven, physicists believe it may help solve long-standing puzzles about the cosmos and provide a complete picture of the Higgs boson's involvement in the creation of our world, among other long-standing concerns. According to a proposal by some scientists, this unidentified force might aid in the union of the basic forces of existence, like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, which has been physics's main objective for the past century. The Large Hadron Collider discovered the God particle. A major turning point in particle physics was reached in 2012 with the discovery of the Higgs boson at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Since then, the ATLAS and CMS teams have been carefully examining the properties of this unusual particle and seeking to figure out the various ways it is created and decays into other particles. ATLAS and CMS provide the first evidence of the unusual process in which the Higgs boson decays into AZ boson, the electrically neutral carrier of the weak force, and a photon, the carrier of the electromagnetic force, 
at the Large Hadron Collider Physics Conference. Indirect proof of the existence of particles, other than those expected by the standard model of particle physics, could come from this Higgs boson decay. Similar to a photon decaying into two photons, the Higgs boson decays into a Z boson and a photon. The Higgs boson does not decay directly into these pairs during these events. Rather, the decays happen through a middle loop of inactive particles that appear and disappear and are not detectable immediately. These inactive particles may interact with the Higgs boson in ways that have not yet been identified. The Higgs boson is believed to be an elementary particle connected to the Higgs field. It is this field's quantum excitation. Amid others in the zoo of particles, the boson itself is like a whole new species. It lacks the quantum characteristics of both the carriers of quantum interactions, such as the weak force, electromagnetic force, and nuclear interactions, and the features of elementary matter. At the Large Hadron Collider, the two massive multifunctional experiments ATLAS and CMS simultaneously made the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson. On July 4, 2012, it was declared at CERN. At the time, the new scalar boson was observed mainly in two rare decay channels, which offered the cleanest signal. The decay was observed in a pair of photons, which involved a purely quantum virtual process, and the direct decay was observed in a pair of Z bosons, the carrier of the neutral weak interaction. The discovery of the Higgs boson at that time may have completed the standard model, but this wasn't the end of investigating this elusive particle. One of the significant discoveries made since 2012 involved confirmation of the decay of the Higgs. At the time, CERN predicted that further research on this elusive particle would be conducted during the third cycle of the LHC, especially after the high-radiance upgrade of the particle accelerator is finished in 2029. This will allow the LHC to perform more collisions, giving scientists more chances to identify unusual physics, such as phenomena not covered by the standard model. According to CERN's estimates, the accelerator will produce 15 million of these particles annually as it is updated. In comparison, the LHC produced 3 million Higgs bosons in 2017. This could play a crucial role in identifying more Higgs boson flavors. Beyond the standard model of particle physics, theories predict the production of up to five distinct forms of Higgs bosons, which could be less common than the important Higgs boson. Strong evidence of a magnetic Higgs boson has already been presented by physicists, even before the improvements. However, what exactly makes this Higgs boson so significant? In the initial moments following the universe's creation, this Higgs field was crucial. It establishes the basic characteristics of the vacuum that permeates our space-time. It is the cause of the existence of matter and interactions as we understand them. Large Hadron Collider these beams are then directed to four interaction points by superconducting quadrupole electromagnets, where accelerated protons collide. Two parallel beam lines with beams traveling in opposite directions around the ring can be found in the Large Hadron Collider. Since the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, was founded in the middle of the 1950s, the organization has conducted some truly amazing experiments. They have been in the public eye for several positive and negative reasons. People's reactions to the various trials they have conducted have been conflicted. Because of the organization's massive financing and the nature of their study, some of their trials have inspired dread of the probable formation of black holes, rips in our reality, and many other hypotheses. Among all their experiments, constructing the Large Hadron Collider is one of the most well-known and controversial accomplishments that still stands out today. The largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, is more than 27 kilometers in circumference and costs more than four and a half billion dollars. That sum of money is huge. Even so, many people who favor CERN's investigations would claim that the money was well spent because, since the LHC's construction, it has produced some of the most important discoveries in recent years. The Higgs boson, also referred to as the God particle, and numerous other particles that had never been observed before were discovered by the LHC, which was startling. Various particles can be accelerated repeatedly around the loop by this huge LHC. This process continues until the particles approach the speed of light and accomplish more than 11,000 laps per second. They generated a magnetic field inside the accelerator using incredibly strong electromagnetics. The magnetic field surrounding Earth is less strong than this one, 
over 100,000 times less. However, not everyone is a devotee of science, particularly when it comes to science that seems as controversial as the CERN experiments. A few individuals have expressed concern about the potential impact of creating such a strong magnetic field on nearby devices and the Earth's magnetic field itself. The particles traveling in opposite directions are driven to merge when these particles reach their maximum speed, which is 99.999999% the speed of light. This strong collision releases a large amount of energy and particles. The capacity to accelerate a wide range of particles was a design goal when the LHC was constructed. This will enable scientists to observe various particles emerging from the hits. CERN built the largest and highest energy particle collider in human history, the Large Hadron Collider, between 1998 and 2008. Over 10,000 scientists, hundreds of universities, and laboratories from more than 100 nations helped with this procedure. It is situated within a 27-kilometer long tunnel, approximately 175 meters below the surface, near Geneva, lies the boundary between France and Switzerland. Constructed between 1983 and 1988, the 3.8-meter-wide tunnel coated with concrete was the previous home of the Large Electron-Positron Collider. There are four spots along the tunnel where it crosses the French border, most of which are in France. Optional equipment like compressors, ventilation systems, control electronics, and refrigeration plants are housed in surface structures. Some 1,232 dipole magnets keep the beams on their circular path while an additional 392 quadrupole magnets are used to keep the beams focused, with stronger quadrupole magnets close to the intersection points to maximize the chances of interaction where the two beams cross. Magnets of higher multipole orders correct smaller imperfections in the field geometry. About 10,000 superconducting magnets are installed, with the dipole magnets having a mass of over 27 tons. About 96 tons of superfluid helium, four are needed to keep the magnets, made of copper-clad niobium-titanium at their operating temperature of 1.9 K, making the LHC the largest cryogenic facility in the world at liquid helium temperature. LHC uses 470 tons of NBT superconductor. About 200 megawatts of electricity are needed for LHC operations at the CERN site from the French electrical grid. This amounts to almost one-third of Geneva's energy consumption. Approximately 120 megawatts of that electricity are used by the LHC accelerator and detectors. 140 terabytes of data are produced daily while it operates. The field of the superconducting dipole magnets increases from 0.54 to 7.7 teslas when the protons are accelerated from 450 GeV to 6.5 TeV, once or twice a day, at an energy of 6.5 TeV per proton. The protons each have an energy of 6.5 TeV, giving a total collision energy of 13 TeV. At this energy, the protons have a Lorentz factor of about 6,930 and move at about 0.9999999990 C, or about 3.1 meters per second slower than the speed of light. A proton takes less than 90 microseconds to travel 26.7 kilometers around the main ring. This results in 11,245 revolutions per second for protons, whether the particles are at low or high energy in the main ring, since the speed difference between these energies is beyond the fifth decimal. Instead of continuous beams, the protons are grouped into 2,808 bunches, each containing 115 billion protons. This allows for separate contacts between the two beams, primarily occurring 25 nanoseconds apart, and results in a collision rate of 40 MHz. In the early years, fewer bunches were used to operate it. In June 2016, the LHC attained its design intensity of 10 to the power of 34 cm 2s 1. By 2017, this value had been doubled. The speeding particles smash at four crossing sites in the collider. There are nine detectors placed around the crossing sites, each intended to identify unique characteristics. The LHC primarily collides proton beams, although it can accelerate heavy ion beams, such as lead-lead and proton-lead collisions. The LHC was built to allow researchers to test predictions of different particle physics theories. Among these predictions are measurements of the properties of the Higgs boson, searches for the huge family of new particles anticipated by supersymmetric theories, and investigations into other mysteries of particle physics.
Between 2013 and 2015, the LHC was improved and shut down, reaching 6.5 TV per beam. It was closed at the end of 2018 for repairs and extra renovations, and more than three years later, in April 2022, it reopened. Many physicists think that the Large Hadron Collider will help resolve some of the major unsolved physics mysteries. These include the basic rules governing the forces and relationships between elementary particles and the deep structure of space and time, focusing on the relationship between general relativity and quantum mechanics. The Large Hadron Collider's primary function is to collide proton beams. Furthermore, it can accelerate lead ion beams. Every year, photon and lead collisions are typically conducted for one month. Testing the predictions of numerous particle physics theories is the main goal of the Large Hadron Collider for physicists. It is important to note that they are testing the properties of the Higgs boson and searching for a massive family of new particles predicted by subatomic particle theories. Like the electromagnetic force that holds atoms and molecules together, hadrons are subatomic composite particles of quarks held together by a strong force. Some of the most well-known hadrons are protons and neutrons. Others include the pion and kaon mesons, which were discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s. The LHC brings together two beams of opposing particles to collide. The Large Hadron Collider accelerates particles faster than any other particle accelerator, finally colliding and releasing a shower of particles. Despite all the accomplishments, some still have beliefs that make people fearful. Dangers of the Large Hadron Collider The Mandela Effect Fiona Broom created the term Mandela Effect in 2009, and its origins are as fascinating as the concept itself. Broom recalled seeing Nelson Mandela's widow give a heartbreaking statement during the broadcast of his passing in the 1980s. The fact that Mandela died in 2013 rather than the 1980s, as Broom and others had said, raised a puzzle. Given the widespread and reliable false memory reported by several people, it is unlikely that people merely misremember things. Feeling rattled by the encounter, Broom set up a website to research the Mandela effect, talking to people who had gone through similar things and trying to make sense of this strange thing. Some say the Mandela effect is connected to CERN, and we have been living on a different timeline since 2022 when scientists at CERN opened the portal to another reality. This suggests that the experiment conducted by CERN's Large Hadron Collider may have fractured our universe, leading to the existence of humanity in a parallel universe, thus causing the Mandela effect. The ability of human memory and the impact of cultural myths and misinformation are just a few explanations for this collective mismemory. However, some scientists think that quantum the theories and research from the Large Hadron Collider may hold secrets about the nature of reality and the possibility of parallel universes. These theories give us a glimpse into the vast and mysterious nature of the universe, even if they are still being investigated and tested. This encourages us to keep looking for answers to these eternal riddles. The Intriguing Black Hole A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it with enough power, not even electromagnetic waves or light. A black hole operates similarly to an ideal black body because it does not reflect light. Recently, several scientists have expressed concern over the Large Hadron Collider at CERN being used to create black holes. CERN scientists acknowledge that the Large Hadron Collider may produce a very small black hole based on scientific knowledge. When weighing the risks, experts at CERN assured that any little black hole formed would not endanger human life or the planet because it would be too small and unstable to last for very long, disappearing as soon as it was created. Most black holes are created when a big star explodes, leaving behind its remnants. Smaller stars eventually become dense neutron stars, lacking the mass required to support life. If the star's mass is high enough, it will likely show that no force can stop it from collapsing due to gravity. But when the star lowers, something strange occurs. The time frame of events is an imagined surface that causes a star's surface to slow, down by about the amount of time that distant observers record. The star turns into a frozen, collapsing object incapable of collapsing when the surface crosses the event timeline forcing time to stop. Huge explosions, known as supernovas, occur when huge stars reach the end of their lives. A burst like this throws a star into space, leaving the bright core behind. During the star's life, 
Nuclear fusion produced an ongoing outward push that opposed the star's own mass's inward gravitational pull. However, in the stellar remnants of a supernova, the star core starts to collapse since there are no longer any forces to counteract that gravity. A black hole is created when its mass collapses into an endlessly tiny point. Black hole's strong gravitational attraction is caused by packing so much mass, many times that of the sun, into such a small area. Black holes can enlarge during their lifetimes, regardless of their initial size, suckling gas and dust from any objects that approach too closely. A significant rise in gravity as one descends toward a black hole possibly means that anything that passes the event horizon, the point at which escape becomes impossible, is doomed. Due to the many issues surrounding this huge organization, several are wondering if the LHC has the power to cause natural disasters. Earthquakes occur annually worldwide, but most are too tiny to be picked up without monitoring gear. The LHC cannot cause earthquakes and there is no connection between the accelerators functioning and the frequency of earthquakes. Because of their acute sensitivity to even minute motions, several high-precision devices at CERN can detect earthquakes. Over a hundred hydrostatic leveling sensors are located in the LHC. These sensors track the movements of the magnets that direct particle beams around the 27-kilometer ring of the LHC. After traveling through the Earth, these sensors can detect the waves released by distant earthquakes. Precision laser inclinometer is another instrument used to measure the motions of underground structures that may impact the exact placement of the particle. Detectors at the LHC. These can also pick up seismic activity due to their sensitivity. Portal to another universe. Some people speculate that CERN is opening a portal to another dimension and the function of these colliders and accelerators is to prove that another universe exists. However, some people suggest that the new experiment will open a portal to hell and summon the devil and his demons, which will be released on Earth. After the experiment was completed, some people stated that an unexplained, unusual energy was unleashed. This energy became known as the portal event. The critical geomagnetic field that shields humans from solar radiation was disrupted for more than 14 hours during the experiment by CERN, allowing solar wind to flow through a big gap, ripped wide by the experiment. This resulted in a significant flow in the global electrical grid. However, there has been no evidence that scientists at CERN are engaged in anything other than scientific-related activities. Also, there is no truth to the claim that scientists at CERN are communicating with demonic entities and using the collider to open up a portal to hell. Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts about CERN's activities in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video.